and a big uh, fighting fan. So I hope to perform well and give an exciting fight. We spoke to Austin earlier. It's his first yeah. fight here. Um, do you think that'll give you an advantage having been here twice before? Well, I think the crowd will be on my side. At least that's what I hope. And uh, no, I don't see advantages here and there. Yeah, of course. No, I don't know. I, you know, I'm coming to fight. I don't care what if I have advantage or not. I feel good. You're I feel ready. So that's the most important thing. You're so experienced. You fought almost every type of fighter. And mm -hmm. um, what are your thoughts on Austin? Well, you know, he's a young guy. Not young, but uh, up. Um, 11-0, undefeated, uh, younger than me, and uh, confident. Yeah, he feels he has something to prove, of course. He's fighting for the belt. I think I have a big task ahead of me. But uh, my friend Ricardo told me I've never been stronger. I'm uh, God gave me special powers for this fight. So he's going to feel it. And do you still feel as hungry as ever, all these fights you've had? Hungry? I don't know. I don't feel now hungry. I'm hungry to eat. I'm, uh, <laughs> I've, I'm, uh, I'm not excited to fight now. I have to cut weight, all that stuff. But uh, fight day, I'm gonna fight, and uh, I have to because uh, if I have, if I, if it takes me down, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna lay down here. That's that's gonna get me the fight uh, losing. So I have to go and uh, punch him to the in his face, even you know, all the time. And then, uh, you know, wrestlers, they don't feel like getting punched in the face. So I think, uh, let's see how he likes it. <laughs> Can I ask you about the co-main event? We've got two Irish girls facing their Liam McCourt and Shane Kevin. What are your thoughts on that? It's pretty special. Yeah, yeah I'm um, excited about that, you know. And um, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> I'm going to watch it. <laughs> Not yeah. watch it, because yeah. I'm going to, but uh, of course, uh, Irish, uh, it's good to have Irish fighters on the card, and um, so yeah, that's nice. Hi, Gary, how are you? Um, we spoke to Austin earlier on, and you know you've had many takedowns in your career. You've taken loads of people down. Obviously, been taken down a few times. Well, and I asked him, "Do you think Gegard might take you down?" And he he said, "I welcome it if he does." Is there any chance you try to take him down in this fight? I guess the cage is possible, but you know, uh, it's more better wrestler than me. So uh, if if I try to take him down and uh, I waste a lot of energy, that's not very smart. But, uh, you know, I don't need to uh, take him down. He's going to try to take me down all the time. I just have to stuff a couple of them and I'm going to end up on top. And my ground and pound is much better than his. That I know for sure. And then he's in trouble. <laughs> the special powers you talked about earlier, is that the, the punching power or is the power to stop him well, from taking you down? I slept and God gave me some extra powers. He said, sleep well, you're going to do well, you know? So. Uh, in, in the past, obviously, you know, you, <laughs> you won by submission a good few times, a good few arm bars earlier yeah. in your career. Is that something if he does take you down, you'll be looking for an active guard in the bottom or is it just no. all about getting back up? It's getting back right, right back up. There's no point of me staying there. He tries to hold you and keep you and win the round, but uh, there's going to be some elbows coming in his face. And I, I'm going to make him work even from the bottom and then the openings will come and I get right back up. I've seen the past for you know, the, the Lovato Jr. fight and yeah. the King Mo fight as well. You've had a bit of issues with, yeah. with guys with the similar sort of gambling. Is it something you've really worked on since then? Obviously you've been doing it for years, but uh, do they help you coming into this fight? Well, I think, uh, you know, fighting for so long, I know myself better. With Lavato, I had too much respect of his jiu-jitsu. So I thought, okay, he takes me down. Don't do any mistakes. Don't get submitted. With King Mo, it was strong. The guy <laughs> kept me down. But uh, also, with the, I was like, okay, I will stay here for a round here. No problem. But uh, I don't have that mentality with this fight, you know. Uh, with Chris Weidman, he took me down, but I get up every time. So it's just with me. Uh, if I decide to fight... I'm going to fight, and uh, you should expect a really tough fight. With the newer score scoring criteria as well, that the favors damage a lot. In yeah. his last few fights, he's taken people down, especially in the Fabian Edwards fight, but not landed that much damage. Is that something you'll be looking at? You said your ground and well, bound is better than his, and your elbows from the bottom. Is that something you'll be looking to land more damage than him, no matter what area it's in? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, you know, King Mo took me down, but I hurt him more. I had more damage on King Mo even. But... Uh, you know, uh, taking someone down and holding him there just to, you know, I think, uh, but I'm not planning to keep uh, fighting from my back, but 
of course, uh, like I said, hit him more than he hits me, and I'm going to win. No problem. Uh, Gegard, uh, recently you were asked about possible, the possibility of fighting Yoel Romero in the future now that he's with Bellator. Um, if he beats Melvin Manhoff, do you think he's next for you if we, uh, win on Friday? Well, you know, I don't know. Uh, I think if I fight him, I fight him uh, at uh, middleweight. So uh, there's no point to giving all the advantage of strength and size. Uh, but that's up to Bellator, you know. Uh, he has to win one fight or maybe two. But I don't care, you know. If they give me the fight, I take it. We're going to uh, couple on the Zoom here. Santiago, go ahead. Hi, Gary Garth. It's Santiago. Thank you for being so generous with your time yesterday. You're the man. No problem. Thank you. Did you get to meet up with the big guy, Gukan Sadikam, yesterday in the city? Yeah, yeah. I, I saw him. Uh, he was eating all the time. The guy eats all the time. i never seen someone eat as much. But uh, uh, for me, after uh, tomorrow, I'm going to eat also. I enjoy uh, with them. Is this the first time since a very long time, Gegard, that you get to have 30 of your friends and family with you for this fight? Well, uh, before Corona, I had an entourage and uh, now my entourage is back. So, uh, yeah, uh, I used to always have 10 guys sometimes. And then now, now of course, it's Ireland, so uh, more close people come to watch me. Last one for me, Gegard. I saw that you're going to be on Ariel Helwani's MMA hour later today. Yeah. How long has that been since you've been on his show? And can you please tell him that he should have more Bellator fighters on his show? Well, I don't know. I think uh, I haven't been uh, maybe in two years, three years. Yeah, I will ask. I will, no problem. Yeah. Harry Kettle. Hi, Gay God. Uh, in MMA in general, there's a lot of talk about where you rank amongst the best middleweights in the world. Is it important for you to go out and make a statement with a finish this weekend, or you, do you just care about getting the win by any means necessary? No, no, no. Well, uh, you know, I, I beat Douglas Lima and Mashida, and then uh, it was not that impressive. I won clearly, I felt, uh, but uh, I hurt. I have to, I'm getting paid well, so I have to finish people. So uh, I have that mentality with this fight. Uh, doesn't it doesn't yeah it's better to look crisp and uh but i'm here to finish him so yeah 100 percent, i'm going to go for the finish and finally from me you've obviously been in this game for so many years now you know going on two decades what do you think one of the biggest reasons is for why you've been able to be have such longevity in mma well they didn't pay me enough out of us i would have retired a long time ago but uh, <laughs> uh i think uh, luck uh, no injuries, uh, very difficult injuries but that I couldn't come back. I think uh, mentality, um, coming back stronger from losses, good team around me. And uh, don't believe the hype or whatever. I don't know. I stay humble, I think. I think. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, professional. I train. I train. And I have a fight. I train. Sometimes I'm not looking forward to the fight, but I do train. And uh, But uh, yeah. All of those combinations. Ben. Hey, Gegard, you're attempting to make the second defense of your title in your second championship reign within Bellator. How does it feel to once again hold the Bellator belt so deep in your professional MMA career? Well, uh, I never thought about the belt, to be honest. Uh, you know, I have an opponent in front of me. If there's a belt on the line or not, you never think about that. I just see an opponent that I have to defeat. So how many times I defended or if it's for a belt or not, not that important, to be honest. Perfect. Best of luck, champ. Okay, thank you. Dylan Rush. Hey, Gegard. Uh, thanks for taking the time. Yeah. Most fighters say that no matter how confident or prepared, they're always nerves headed into a fight. So in the later stages of your, of your career, do you feel more nerves going to fights like this, championship fights, or do you get more nervous or did you get more nervous before uh, fights earlier in your career? Well, uh, beginning, uh, I would never get nervous. Uh, I would go there, I would fight. I would go the same day home. No media, no one would know what you did uh, or you won or you lose. Uh, so I'm never uh, nervous to fight, to be honest. But uh, now you have uh, a lot of people watching. Mm, you know, the fans, they love to see you lose so, so they can Photoshop you if you get knocked out or whatever. So. Uh, so, 
Uh, no, yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, also, some some fights I got injured. Uh, so things once you have a lot of uh, difficult fights, it makes you sometimes nervous. No, I don't know, not not really the same. And uh, I know you go out and perform well no matter how long the fight is, but if it were your decision, would you prefer a three-round championship fight or are you a fan of the five-round title fight style? Well, I think uh, there should be a difference uh, between uh, title fights and non-title fights or a big super fight. So I think uh, five is uh, where you really can uh, see who is the better fighter. So I think for championship, you have to have five. Yeah, you were talking there about the, the money and your team told me here you're thinking about doing a bit of boxing. Is there anyone you, you'd like to box? Well, uh, we were uh, aiming for Anderson Silva because Showtime and boxing and he was boxing. So uh, I wanted to do something different, but uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, I want to do it. So it's up to uh, them. Is, it, is an MMA fight against Anderson something you'd look at as well or no, just boxing? Obviously. Boxing because MMA yeah. is a little bit too old. Uh, boxing, he's doing well. He beat a former champ, I think. Yeah, and I think it's something different. So that's uh, yeah. Or they give me another fighter, a boxing fighter. But I don't. I think Anas is bigger name. So yeah. All right, cut more here, Kobe. Hi, Gegard. Obviously, you seem very relaxed. You got a good sense of humor going into this done this many many times is there anything that you've changed up in your preparation for fights over there over the last say five years yeah uh not late last eight years but uh i think i'm smarter more knowledge and uh physically i'm better than ever much better than ever i'm twice strong i think uh he will he will understand that he's fighting a heavyweight not a middleweight and physically, is that just diet or is it just the way you prepare now? Uh, different things. Uh, uh, but I got, uh, I cut more weight now. So physically, uh, all mature in my prime, I feel 100%. Great. Hi, Gagar. Thanks for the time. All good.